Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 16 Plus and compare it against the iPhone 15 Pro Max and see which particular phone is really the best one for you here. Now, the thing I would definitely tell you between both these phones is that you can't really go wrong with either one of these, right? The 16 Plus and the 15 Pro Max are very good phones. It just so happens that it's a little bit harder for the average person to buy a 15 Pro Max, considering that this, this phone is not available in the brand new market anymore. You have to go inside of eBay or some you know certified refurbished store on Apple or another way of basically picking up that phone. The 16 Plus, you can walk inside of the Apple store or Best Buy anywhere and basically buy that phone right now. So keep that in mind. Regardless of that though, I wouldn't let that stop you from making your decision because still it's not the, oh, the hardest thing in the world to buy an iPhone 15 Pro Max right now either, as long as it's in used or certified refurbished condition. So if at any point you want to pick up either one of these phones, I will leave links in the description where you can buy them from there very easily and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these phones, the iPhone 15 Pro Max on the front side of this phone is giving you a 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. Now with this type of display, it's a 120 hertz panel. It gets very, very bright and it's a very good phone, right? I like this phone a lot and I think it still looks very, very good and sharp. And if you're going to go through and buy a phone, this is a very good panel. You're getting the dynamic island at the very top, fairly thin bezels all throughout it, and it's a beautiful phone. Like, I love being able to get a phone like this because it's a very big phone, it looks very solid, and I'm a big fan of the way it looks for sure. So, definitely on the front side of the, six, of the 15 Pro Max, definitely like it. Now, on the iPhone 16 Plus, this is a little bit of a different story. So with the 16 Plus, you're basically getting a phone that is giving you the same size display, so 6.7 inches, it's still a Super Retina XDR display. And the issue that we're kind of running into with the iPhone 16 Plus is that that particular phone is basically a 60 hertz panel. So this is kind of a problem and kind of an annoyance because with a phone like this, you're basically getting a device that is essentially, you know, you're kind of stuck in the situation where it's already having an outdated panel when you buy it. The 120 hertz panel on the 15 Pro Max is significantly better than the 60 hertz panel on the, on the 16 Plus. So take it as you will, but that is kind of an issue that you're kind of running into here on something like the iPhone 16 Plus. So in my personal opinion, even though the iPhone 15 Pro Max is older, I think that panel is significantly better than the iPhone 16 Plus's panel. So kind of take that as you will, but that's kind of how I see you know that particular phone holding up. On the bottom, both these phones are giving you USB Type-C ports, which is really nice. I love having USB-C and you're getting that type of capability on both these phones, which is a really nice thing. On these sides, you're both getting flat sides on both. You're both getting action buttons as well. The main difference here is that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is not giving you that camera button, where the 16 Plus is giving you a camera button there on the side. So that is something that's really cool. You can click on that camera button on the side and basically be able to go through and like, you know, take photos and videos on that camera button, which is really cool. Unfortunately, the iPhone 15 Pro Max doesn't have it, but it's not really the biggest deal in the world. I haven't even really been using it all that much. Frosted glass backs on the backside of both these phones, triple camera setup on the 15 Pro Max, dual camera on the iPhone 16 Plus, wireless charging on both, MagSafe capability on both as well. And that's kind of it. I mean, they both are holding up fairly well on the exterior. They both feel very premium. I think the 15 Pro Max definitely wins on the exterior, but the 16 Plus with the added camera button, I think is a really nice touch. On top of that, when it comes down to the pricing structure, the iPhone 16 Plus is about a $900 phone. I did pay almost $1,000 after taxes and the activation fee, whatever it was, for that particular 16 Plus. So keep that in mind. The 15 Pro Max, I think you can definitely buy for less than $1,000. So kind of just keep that in mind as well. If you're trying to go ahead and get a phone, the 16 Plus is probably going to be a more expensive phone compared to a used or certified refurbished 15 Pro Max, depending on the condition. So that kind of covers it up there. Camera wise, both are giving you different types of camera setups. So on the iPhone's 15 Pro Max, this is giving you that 48 megapixel wide angle lens an ultra wide camera and a telephoto lens as well, where the iPhone 16 Plus is giving you that dual camera setup, a 48 megapixel fusion camera, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. So from this side as well, this is going to be something that's kind of interesting here, because if you're looking at both these phones, you're going to be getting an overall better camera setup on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. You're also getting only 2x zoom on the iPhone 16 Plus, where you're getting 5x zoom on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So from that side as well, you're getting more zooming in capability from something like the iPhone 15 Pro Max than from something like the iPhone 16 Plus. So that right there is another very big and large thing to think about because if you're wanting the phone that's going to be giving you better capability, well, in every single case you can imagine, the iPhone 16, you know, 
Plus is not really going to be giving you that great of an experience compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Really the only thing I can even kind of think about is like that spatial photo and video thing. But the 15 Pro Max can do spatial videos. It's just that the iPhone 16 Plus can do spatial photos and videos. So beyond that, both cameras are very good. And if you're, I guess if you're not having a good time with the 15 Pro Max camera, you're definitely not going to have a good time with the iPhone 16 Plus camera as far as I can tell. So keep that in mind. But regardless of that, both phones are very, very good. And I'm a big fan of the way both these cameras have held up. But the 15 Pro Max definitely is the better one here in my personal opinion. Now, in terms of software longevity, both these phones are still going to be supported with software for so many years now. It's not like one of these phones is going to, you know, be outdated tomorrow. Both these phones are going to be, you know, updated with software for a long period of time. So I think that is a very big thing to keep in mind here. Because if you're going through and if you're going to go through and like pick up a phone, both phones are going to be here for a long period of time. They're both going to be giving you long software updates. So that right there is a very big thing to keep in mind because you can go through, pick up either one of these phones and have a phone that's going to last for a long period of time. And that's something I love about both these phones. So regardless of that, from a software perspective, you're definitely going to be getting a long lasting phone. Also, even on Apple's website, they do kind of state that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to be giving you better battery life than the iPhone 16 Plus. So that's a very interesting thing in and of itself. So if you're looking at a phone and you want the longer lasting phone here, or in terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Plus is kind of, you know, not going to be giving you as great of battery life as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I think is really, really interesting. But Apple's website lies all the time, so I don't know if they're 100% accurate here, but, you know, just, again, one of those things to kind of keep in mind there as well. Now, on top of that, another big thing to keep in mind is the performance. So the performance here is slightly different. So the iPhone 16 Plus is giving you that Apple A18 chip inside of it with eight gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 16 or the iPhone 15 Pro Max is giving you that Apple A17 Pro chip inside with eight gigabytes of RAM inside of that phone. So the thing you're going to have to keep in mind within these particular devices is the fact that with something like the iPhone you know, 15 Pro Max, you're getting an older Pro chipset with the same amount of RAM. So this is something that's kind of interesting because you really don't know what's going to be like, what? Like, is the iPhone 16 Plus going to perform better or worse? From my tests that I've done personally, I would probably tell you that the iPhone 16 Plus and iPhone 15 Pro Max's performance is going to be way more similar than it is going to be different. Like, both these phones are going to be very, very similar from that side. And the big difference that you're going to notice here, the big advantage, is the fact that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to be giving you that ProMotion display. So that is something that's actually very, very nice to have inside of the iPhone 15 Pro Max because that phone is going to be giving you just overall, you know, a little bit of a, you know, smoother type of performance when it comes down to it. So to kind of sum up this video, what I'll tell you is I love the iPhone 16 Plus and I love the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but without a doubt, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a significantly better phone than the iPhone 16 Plus. I think the 15 Plus or the 15 Pro Max is a very, very good phone. And I think it is the better one than the iPhone 16 Plus for sure. The 16 Plus is great. If you're going to buy it, then go for it. I think the 16 Plus is great and I think it's a good phone. But if you're going to pick up one, please, please, please pick up the 15 Pro Max. Better display, better performance, better everything. I would probably recommend the average person to go ahead and buy the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 16 Plus. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.